the process of receiving starts with giving. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today's episode is being brought to you by Audible, featuring the world's largest selection of audiobooks. Successful people have one thing in common. They read more. How do they find the time? With Audible. Get more books in your life. Start a 30-day trial today and your first audiobook is free. To get started, just go to 7goodminutes.com slash audiobook. Today, we listen in as the late, great Jim Rohn explains why it's better to give than receive. Enjoy. I was challenged way back in those early days. Why not make the environment better everywhere you go? I learned, Mama taught, you know, turn off the lights when you check out of your hotel and you leave the room before you leave, turn out the lights. And I thought, why do that? And here's what she said, to make a contribution that's so easy. Wow. And if you could make a contribution that is so easy, that didn't cost you any money, and didn't cost you any time, you know, didn't cost you a a piece of your life, why not make the contribution that's easy? Because if everybody did it, think of how much we would conserve. Someone says, well, yes, but the hotel benefits if you turn out all the lights. And here's the answer that sophisticated people always have. Who cares who benefits? If it benefits the hotel and if everybody did it, probably the cost of the hotel room would come down. So every benefit you can give, every benefit you can share, because here's what happens. If you learn to give, you will what? Receive. Maybe not in the manner in which you gave, maybe not in like kind, Uh, Someone will save energy for you because you saved energy for them. But in some mysterious ways, it always comes back to us. If you give, you will receive. In fact, here's what it says, that for the uneducated is a little bit strange. It says it's better to give than it is to receive. Now, see, if you didn't understand, you would say that doesn't quite make sense. Surely it would be better to receive than to give, and the answer is no. It is much better to give than to receive. And here's why. It's what we call being in having intelligent self-interest. Nothing wrong with self-interest as long as you do it the intelligent way. Here's the key. Giving, it's better to give than it is to receive because giving starts the receiving process. So to act intelligently in your own self-interest, which is good, it's much better to give than it is to receive. Because if all of you do, all you do is receive, that may be very limited. But if you give and giving starts the receiving process coming your way from unknown resources and from unknown places, back it comes around to you because you became a giver. That's one of the unique mysteries of life. We give to receive, and it's better to give than it is to receive. So that's what Mama said, turn out the lights, make a contribution. Why not make the easy ones? It raises your self-esteem, plus your self-respect, that you do things that the average person doesn't do. Maybe if they were taught, they would. Maybe if somebody mentioned it, they would. But it's easy for most everybody to just go on their way. And if they're not interrupted by a good idea that says, hey, it's so easy to make a contribution, this one would be easy. Turn out the lights when you leave the hotel room and make a contribution. That's interesting. Next is the phrase in terms of environment, always leave something better than you found it. I talked to a man one time who rented out a long list of uh, of apartments. And he said, Mr. Owen, you wouldn't believe it, but when somebody rents an apartment, they usually leave it worse than when they rented it. I said, you've got to be kidding. He said, no. 
a high percentage of people leave it trashed. If they stay six months or stay one year, they leave it trashed. Not just not better, but trashed. I said, that's impossible. Why would anyone do that? Mama said to me, no, leave it, what? Better than you found it. See, that's just a commitment to your own self-esteem. And why not do it if it makes a contribution to your self-esteem? It's called intelligent self-interest. Intelligent self-interest. Self-interest says, I wish to be ruler over many. And intelligent self-interest says, I understand how to do that. Be faithful when the amounts are small. If you'll take care of the few, we will someday give you a position of very high importance over many. But if you don't be disciplined when the amounts are small, why would we trust you when the amounts are large? Why would, why would life give you a fortune to manage if you couldn't manage the gifts of a few? Interesting philosophy to consider. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.